was significantly higher, wasn't it? Step. Yes, uh, it's fair to say that chief execs have uh, had a nice time when it comes to pay rises recently, but how long that will last remains to be seen because there's a bit of a shareholder dispute going on about this, uh, about pay over recent weeks. With a growing number of... Me now is Louise Roos from the Investor Cambrian Group Fair Pensions. And just to explain your involvement in this, it's because for the general public, a lot of people have investments in these firms, so they really need to care about it, don't they? I think all of this shareholder revolt is making at the moment. A and looking at a company like Aviva, the UK's largest just ensure is there someone else who'll do the job for cheaper how does it work the key thing here isn't it it's about performance all of those companies that i've mentioned and there are more there's astrazeneca that pay has gone up so much and their share price has fallen quite a lot the argument from people like the chief executives is that well hang on this is a really difficult job you know we're running massive firms here if you look at footballers or whatever they don't get paid necessarily less if they don't score a couple of goals so that would be their argument back. I mean, how would you defend the time this morning? I'm sure there'll be more to talk about on this as the weeks go by. Mm. Yes, I'm sure you're right, Steph. Thanks very much for now. The rise in market share, I'm sure you're pleased about that, but you're still well behind Tesco. We're going to get the Queen's speech a bit later on today, and it's been... Uh, on the sofa, because you have some breaking news this morning, Steph. Yeah, a bit of news about Clinton cards. Run All, right. Significant. All right, thanks so much.